as I am more a practical guy than a theoretic guy, I need to test things, I need to see them to understand them. And that's why I drove back to Aarhus in Denmark, where HMF is placed, and contacted Rune and asked him, could we please try out the EVS system? Because there's something I need to understand. In our daily work, I use our 4020 to lift our van up and down from the truck when traveling. Beside that, we have a bar container and a stage container, which we use for all our events uh, and handle with our crane. But how can we use our EVS system to our advantage? EVS stands for Electronic Vehicle Stability and is based on sensors, which constantly analyze the situation of the vehicle. If the system requests a heel that is bigger than that we allowed the vehicle to heal when we set it up in the latest video, the speed will be reduced or even stopped no matter where our legs are placed. Does that mean that we can stabilize our vehicle on other ways than with the legs? We have placed our MAN TGS 41500 with our HMF 4020K6 uh, weighing just over 21 tons in the yard of HMF in Galten. And Rune is just about to pimp our weights just before we make our little test. In this first attempt, we will put down the legs to the ground just next to the vehicle. No extra weight on the deck and 1,500 kilograms on the hook. Rune lifts the 1,500 kilograms in 90 degrees away from the vehicle until the EVS system stops him at 8.75 meters. On the display of our remote control, it is pretty easy to see when the EVS system has reached 90% of its total reach. Now the system will slow down the move and if you continue, it will reach 100% and stop you in going any further. The number shown on the display, in our case 56%, shows how much the crane has lifted of its maximum at this position. Now it's only possible to move backwards or down, back to the safe area. So if the vehicle was more stable in this situation, the crane could easily lift more in this situation, further or heavier. For me it's pretty clear that by moving the legs now in this situation, we would be able to go further or to lift heavier in this situation. So let's try that out. We place the legs at 2 meters and 75 centimeters to see how far we can get with the 1,500 kilos now. Now that's actually a big difference. Now we can move the 1,500 kilos from 8 meters and 75 and to the maximum reach of our crane, the K6, which is 16 meters and 40 centimeters by placing the legs at 2 meters and 75. But how are we able to use the advantage of the EVS system in a situation like this? Imagine you're downtown and you have to deliver something with your vehicle. It's not possible for you to get the legs further out than the 60 centimeters that we used in the beginning. And now you have the same weight. How far can you get or what should you do? to get further than the 8 meters and 75. We have to stabilize the vehicle by using physics. But I was never clever or good in school at physics. So I need to figure out how we do. But actually, it's just like a potted plant back home. If the plant gets too big, it tips over. Now we have two opportunities. Finding a bigger pot, in our example, placing the legs further away from the vehicle, or just add some more weight to the pot. We place 4,100 kilos on the deck to see how much it will influence on the reach when still having the legs at 60 centimeters and 1,500 kilos on the hook. In our first attempt, we made 8 meters and 75 centimeters with no weight on the deck. And now with 4,100 kilos on the deck, we get stopped at 11 meters and 60 centimeters by the EVS system. So by adding 4,100 kilos on the deck, we can reach uh, almost three meters further away now, still having the legs only 60 centimeters away from the vehicle. 
And now I know a lot of people out there will say, where the holy crane should I get 4,100 kilos additional, just like this, to add on the deck so I can reach further? Maybe you ordered or asked to do some lifting without anything on the deck. Think about it, get something on the deck when you leave home because you can reach much further by using the EVS system. Just see this video as an experiment. Use it when you're unloading. Where should you start to unload your, your deck so you get, can, can use your EVS system and get a further reach on your crane? I understand the EVS system totally now because it's based on the sensors on our vehicle telling when we will heal too much compared to what is registered in our system, which we did in the latest video, and then use it and see this just as an experiment because it will make you a better crane driver out there if you use our knowledge. If you like the show, like and subscribe, let us have your comment and then stay tuned on the channel. And if you have any other ideas, Mythbuster likes, give us a, a, a chat here. Let us know what you would like us to test. And I will go back to Rune in Denmark and test whatever you think is necessary to test. Crane safe, drive safe, and enjoy your day.